Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and today we have our XFS 571 expansion set for Wyndham and Dagger L. Now before we take a look at the components of this kit, let's take a look at the main mobile suit and its components. So we have the head unit of the Wyndham. I like the head unit, looks pretty sharp. I like the stickers on this thing, very nice design. And let's take a look at the body unit. The body unit looks really great as well. I like the design, it's very reminiscent to the Strike. And now taking a look at the arm units, the articulation on the arms look really great. It's very typical for the HG articulation, while the waist unit looks pretty plain. Again, it's very reminiscent to the strike, and it also has some two beam sabers on the side. Now, most, most of the changes happens around the leg unit area. You can see that there is a lot of articulation going on around the legs, and there are some pretty nice boosters that goes along with that. Now, the shield on this thing is pretty plain looking, and it's just really sucky because it uses stickers and has no part separation. The rifle is also plain looking. Now, the Jet Striker Pack looks really great. It has foldable wings, it has a turbine engine, a movable backpack section, and I liked what they did with the removable rockets on this thing. Now the dual recoilless cannon pack is a long range cannon and I like the design on this thing, very reminiscent to the beam cannon of the shield biker. And now we have the multi-launcher rocket pack and you can see that you can open these side panels right here uh, exposing some exhaust. You have some ejectors as well on the top that would allow you to pull out these rockets. I really like the design on this thing. Now let's go ahead and connect the head unit to the body unit. Once you do that, there are really no issues when you connect that. Fits like a glove, really nice fitting. Same goes with the arm units to the body. Uh, once you pop it in the socket, it really stays in place. Now connecting the legs to the waist unit, you would feel that once you connect the PC part to the peg of the waist unit, you would feel the thighs would open and there would be some sections that you would feel that there are gaps forming. So that is just really a problem. Now when you connect the top half to the bottom half, it looks okay, but when you do the shake test, boom, it falls apart. So the thigh unit is the problem right here. But when you connect the backpack, the Jet Striker, to it it connects really solidly to that and I think it looks really great I was having doubts in getting the Wyndham but after this it I was just really sold it looks fantastic so let's go ahead and take a look at the expansion sets uh, when you shake the multi launcher pack the rockets fall off and you have a lot of movement on that one but it is a little flimsy now with the long range cannons it's also the same it's a little flimsy and it doesn't stay in place but it's still okay now when we connect the launcher pack to the Wyndham you would then feel the stress and the weight you would feel that uh, actually crunches the knees a bit but when you connect the long range cannons it's pretty okay just be careful that it doesn't hit the v-fin because that can cause it to dislodge but overall i really think the design of the Wyndham with the expansion pack really looks great xfs has done a great job with the plastic quality on this thing and if they keep this up i really think sfs is going to leave a mark in the bootleg scene now the launcher pack is really heavy and it takes a lot of weight around and gives that stress around along the knees now one of the cool things to this is that it is compatible to a lot of the strike variations but as you can see this version from Huyan is unstable and actually dislodges and disconnects from the top half so what you want to do is really angle the launcher pack maybe let it rest along the shoulders to keep that center of gravity but for the long range cannons you won't have any problems with that it's pretty stable the long range cannons are not that heavy not as heavy as the launcher pack and one thing that I like about this is it's very compatible to a lot of other kits especially the build fighters here's the mk2 the build mk2 with the long range cannons and I think it is just really amazing now connecting the launcher pack 
to this, the multi-launcher, you would need an extra stand because it's very heavy, but I like the design. It's a heavy weapon system. It's like a walking fortress. Now, of course, you want to try it, of course, with the <laughs> original mobile suit that it's supposed to be based on mass produce the Wyndham. We got the Strike Gundam, and it looks perfect as well with the packs on this one. Uh, the Strike Gundam also has a little bit of weight issues when you connect the launcher pack. As you can see, it's a little keeling to the left. Now, what you could do is to up put that upside down and configure it that it would look more like the Buster Gundam, and that works. Now, another thing is that this uh, expansion set comes along with two daggers. I think these are called the Stiletto Daggers, and they look really great with the Wyndham. And with that, let's talk about the things that I like about this kit. Number one, great plastic quality. XFS has been very consistent with their plastic quality. Great playability. A lot of these components are swappable and you can connect them with other kits, especially the Build Fighters and the Strike Series. And it's absolutely affordable. Now, as much as I like this expansion set, there are some flaws. Number one, it's extremely back heavy and you need some action stands. It becomes flimsy with the connection. You need to use some stickers because there's very minimal part separation. And I'm wondering why are there are no extra adapters to connect to other kids. And with that, we're giving this expansion set an overall rating of 8 out of 10. And that's pretty much all the time that we have right now, folks. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Click the like and hit the bell notification. And remember, folks, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay awesome. Till all are one. Peace out. Rock and roll. Bye, everybody. Bye.